Welcome, and for me is a Poco F5 Pro, and today I'll show you how you can bypass the Google verification on this phone. So, to get started, we're gonna... Oh, actually, first I'm gonna just mention that the phone here is locked, which you can obviously see based on this message, draw your pattern, and if I don't know it, I can use my Google account instead. So, there we go. Now, to get started, we're gonna back out to the very first page, Disregard me being connected to network, that is not required, I only did that so I can show you that the device is locked. Anyway, I'm gonna move back to right here, and we're gonna hold volume up and volume down at the same time. Now you probably want to mute the device once it activates. I'm gonna select turn on. And we're gonna hold it again. Talk back on. Welcome to talk back. Like I said, I'm going to mute it just because it's a little bit distracting when it starts talking and reading this entire message. But anyway, once you see this screen, you want to draw a, a L like this on the screen. This will bring up this talkback menu. And in here, we're going to select a screen search. And from there, we're going to hold the volume up and down once more. Talkback off. And we're going to select close. Close. We're gonna now progress through the tutorial, or not tutorial, but the, through the setup. And here, and choose your keyboard, it brings up a new option called Talkback Brilliant Keyboard. So we will select that. I'm gonna go to the next page. Again, I'm gonna just simply select this right here. I'm gonna go to the next page. Uh, next page. And in the Wi-Fi connection page, we're gonna scroll all the way down where it says Add Network. And then I'm gonna now select the field. So it brings up, uh, normally it will bring up a keyboard, but now we're gonna select turn on and accessibility settings. Then we're gonna select accessibility menu and we're gonna toggle it on, allow, okay. And now we're gonna click on it and I select Google Assistant. And once we do, you want to say open settings. Open settings. Opening settings. Now, as you can see, this simply opens up our settings. Now, in here, we're gonna scroll down to additional settings. I'm gonna scroll down again, and we're looking for second space. I'm gonna turn it on. Let's give it a second. Now, typically we should have some kind of setup here, but it's looking like it's trying to switch to it automatically. Now, I'm not exactly sure if that is working as it's supposed to. So if it's not gonna do anything in like next 10 seconds, I'm gonna simply reboot the device. Oh, so I'm just gonna reboot the device. Oh, we got something new. So, uh, this is not what's supposed to be happening. I'm not exactly sure what's actually happening. So, yeah, I'm gonna just hold the power button, select reboot, and we will see if this worked. Now for you, uh, for me, this actually worked. I'm just gonna quickly mention that when you select the second space, you would have like options to use second space as a shortcut or using pin, pattern, or password. Now you just want to select as a shortcut and then uh, skip the other option that it was like showing up. But I so will see if that worked for me or not. Okay, so it looks like it didn't work. So I'm going to attempt this once more. Open settings. Opening settings. So again, I'm going to scroll down to additional settings. Second space. Go to second space. Something happened. Yeah, I have one last idea. Like I mentioned, this is not what's supposed to happen. Once you activate the second space, uh, 
and you go through the process of choosing like if you want to use it as a shortcut or as a uh, as a like some kind of screen lock uh, it will open up second space at which point you just simply want to reboot the device and when it boots back up it will automatically go to the main space at which point you can go to the settings and perform a factory reset but as you can see in my case i am struggling with the second space at the moment so i'm gonna do that once again and i'm gonna try something else so open settings opening settings so in here i did have the option to delete it I'm gonna try it again. There we go. So this time around it actually worked. So I'm gonna select continue. I'm gonna select use a shortcut, continue, uh, skip, allow. Actually there could have skipped that as well. And there we go. So we have now our main our oh, second space set up. So we can hold our power button a little bit longer. And we're going to select Reboot. So it looks like something bugged out uh, for me the first time around I tried to create it. Hopefully in your case you just had a smooth way of adding it and it booted you up into it. Once it did, as you've seen, all you need to do is select Reboot. And once the device boots back up right now, we'll have our normal home screen visible, not the second space. Okay, so I did stop the video, uh, try to figure out the solution to this, and uh, turns out all I think I need to do is just forcibly reboot the device and boot it back up again. So to do so, I'm gonna hold power key and volume down at the same time. This will forcibly reboot the device so let's try it right now there we go and it should boot back up on its own and now it should actually get into the android oh if it's not turning on on its own i'm just gonna hold the power button come on oh there we go And there we go, it actually worked. So uh, from here, once you have your home screen, which hopefully in your case, it went much smoother than it did for me. Uh, but this was actually a pretty good example of what could possibly go wrong because as you've seen, it did go wrong for me. So you actually did get to also see how to solve this problem as I went along. So anyway, to finish off the bypass, all we need to do is navigate into the settings in here we're gonna select about phone and we're gonna select factory reset erase all data factory reset now xiaomi just gives us a 20 second block right here on the next page so 10 second each uh, before we can actually factory reset the device now this is the last step that you want to take because performing a factory reset to the settings will fully unlock the device by removing any kind of protection like pin pattern passwords google accounts from the device when it's being reset through settings so like I said, it forces the device to unlock itself. Now, that being said, I'm not going to go through the reset on the video just because it would show you absolutely nothing useful once you press that OK button. It's just a factory reset, so a bit of a Poco logo, a bit of black screen, and then you're back in the setup screen. Now, once you have your setup screen visible, go to the setup of your phone in whatever way you want to. It will be fully unlocked at that point. So, with that being said, if you found this video helpful, and hopefully you did, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and thanks for watching.